I, I'm just not used to seeing myself in bangs. I'm not. So if you are a, a bang person and you like Shade of Cappuccino in the Raquel Welch line, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is actually a new release from the wig company, Statements Line, and this is called Enrapture. Now, I had this on my head when I was doing and participated in a wig giveaway for them on Instagram, and I never really did any kind of a review on it, so I thought I would just share it with you right now, really quickly. Anyways, I think this color is so close to Raquel Welch's, and this is my editor's pick in the color shade of cappuccino. And now I know that this is a little bit, and Rapture's got a little bit more golden tone, but I think they're pretty close. And if you love shade of cappuccino, you just might like this shade. I think this is so pretty. This is actually called Glazed Mocha, and it is described as a medium brown with golden blonde highlights. And definitely I'm picking up on the golden blonde highlights. It's R11S+. Plus. So it's really pretty, pretty shade throughout. The weight of this wig is 2.95 ounces. The front comes down to about six and a half inches. I have a nine inch from my hairline to my chin. So, I think it's pretty close. You know, it's pretty close to that. Obviously, if you have a shorter head or face, this is going to look a lot longer on you than it does on me. The crown is six, and the sides are six and a half in the back, and the back is four and a half, and the nape is a little over three. This is heat-friendly fibers, so you can style this if you want. This is just out of the box. This is straight, no styling done at all. This is pretty well described as sort of like a, a trendy cut, angled bob, a little bit of texture and bangs. There is no monofilament, there's no lace front, so it's a basic cap, but the fibers are beautiful. These fibers are beautiful, heat friendly. They're just beautiful. And this is just one of their new releases. And like I said, if you're a, a person that really likes to wear bangs, this will be perfect. Now, I don't normally wear bangs, so this is not going to be something you're going to bring it up off your forehead. You can probably push these to the side. If I was going to keep this wig, I would probably trim the bangs a little bit, the fringe a little bit shorter, and then let it taper off. That's, that's what I would do. Other than that, other than the heavy bangs for me, which is not a good look for me, I think this is absolutely a beautiful wig and probably would be perfect for somebody. If you're interested in something like this, check it out. I'll leave all the links below and I'm going to do a quick spin for you so you can see the back side. Pretty, huh? It's just so pretty. This wig was sent to me complimentary from the wig company in exchange for review. And as I said, I had demoed this wig when I did my wig giveaway with the wig company. They were generous enough to want to partner with me for that on Instagram. And um, one person was lucky enough to win the wig. And I thought that was awesome. So wig company, really pretty styles. If you like browns with blondes, and like I said, it just it just reminds me so much of shaded cappuccino. I share with you the inside of the cap, and then I'm going to take you outside and show you a few outside pics so you can see what this looks like in the sunlight. And uh, yeah, really pretty wig. Thank you for watching.